Hello guys, it's so nice to see you. Welcome back to my channel. I don't think I've ever actually made a video talking specifically about my body. Let me know if you can remember if I have. As you guys know, we recently announced that we're pregnant and that comes with a lot of changes and that comes not only with like emotional changes, but with a lot of physical changes to a woman's body. I used to think when I was really, really young that I didn't really want to have kids even to a point because I used to think that it would quote unquote ruin my body. I now see it as a form of sacrifice, but we'll get into that. Safe to say my views have definitely changed and I wanted to talk to you guys about those views. So let me tell you, I think one of the most important things that comes with making sure that you love your body no matter what phase of it you're in is making sure that you feel comfortable in your clothing which is why i'm so happy and excited to have partnered up with lulu's for today's video because they actually sent me a wardrobe for fall and oh my god i feel so comfortable i feel so chic i feel so put together one of the first changes that i'm making with this pregnancy and as my belly grows is that i'm making sure that i'm buying clothes that are not only super cute but also super comfortable and more than anything affordable. I was first introduced to Lulu's when I was getting married I bought a lot of my really cute shoes from there. I used to think that Lulu's was just a wedding website but little did I know that they also have everyday affordable fashion to make you look super super cute no matter the occasion no matter where you're going. All of these outfits are super easy to turn from night to day or to go from brunch to dinner or to go from Thanksgiving dinner to Black Friday shopping as you guys know that's one of my favorite things to do. My favorite thing about them all is how beautiful, simple, chic, and elegant they look. And they're super, super comfortable, you guys. I'm telling you, one of the most important things for me now is not only that clothes are cute, but they're, they're so comfortable, like jeans. I don't know her. I cannot bother wearing jeans. Wearing these clothes that still allow me to dress in style and allow me to still feel like I'm part of modern fashion because in reality, one of the misconceptions I had with getting pregnant was that all I was gonna have to wear was nothing but ugly maternity clothes. And of course, there's some cute maternity clothes, but I'm having a really hard time finding it. The fact that I can still wear regular clothes and I can still have the fall shopping experience to lose is amazing to me. The thing about loose clothing, you guys, is that it's super comfortable super soft super stretchy and it just i feel like i could even sleep in these clothes if i needed to <laughs> and sometimes i get so tired that genuinely i feel like i just might if you guys want to get any of the pieces that i shopped for i'm gonna link them all individually down below so you can click on each individual link but in reality just going to the whole lulu's website will have you hooked on all the beautiful pieces that they have i'm telling you if you're a soon-to-be bride the shoes, the dresses, the accessories there are super cute. And if you're shopping for fall or you want to get a really cute outfit for Thanksgiving dinner and you want to be comfortable, Lulu's is the place to go. So make sure you click the links down below to get any of the pieces that you've seen me wear. And with that being said, thank you so much to Lulu's for sponsoring today's video. Let's talk about the elephant in the room. That is the fact that I feel like all women think this, but not a lot of women talk about it. And that is the changes that your body goes through throughout pregnancy. I am an advocate for self-love. I've always said I love myself, I love my body. I have worked really hard to make sure that I'm in a mental space where I always come from a place of love when it comes to loving my body. I don't talk negatively to myself. I make sure that I uplift myself and I work out and I try to eat as healthy as possible to make sure that I'm doing all the necessary things to show my body that I love it. When it comes to pregnancy, at least for myself, I grew up with this idea that pregnancy was the ultimate body sacrifice. From what I've seen so far, I still stand by that idea. Like the fact that you are literally giving, and now that I've experienced it, like we're literally giving all of our energy, all of our time to this little human being that's growing inside of us. It's equal parts beautiful, amazing, and scary to be honest because <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, I can't believe I'm so tired. Like I know if there's one thing you guys have heard me say throughout this whole pregnancy is how exhausted I am but I cannot tell you guys how shocked I was to find out that you literally, you guys, like you are exhausted. And not only with the emotional changes that come, but also with the physical changes. Now, some of the things that I can think of at the top of my head, 
you get stretch marks, your boobies start to sag, nipples get cracked, you are literally bleeding down there, you literally have an organ that came out of you, your placenta, where you literally went through like a life-changing event and then you go home to have to take care of a little human being. It's a lot. Today I want to focus on the physical changes because I feel like that's something that when I was younger I used to really worry about. Like I used to really think like oh my god like I'm gonna have stretch marks on my belly and like that's so sad and like my boobies are gonna sag and oh my god like what am I gonna do let me tell you something I'm doing the oils to try and avoid stretch marks I will be breastfeeding that is my plan I plan on breastfeeding hopefully everything works out and I plan and I pray and I hope that God allows me to have a natural birth and that I don't have to have a c-section it's safe to say that my body's gonna look very very different from when I first from before I got pregnant now I got pregnant when I was 31 years old so I'm already older and I remember when I was trying to get pregnant I told myself like I don't even care if my body changes like I don't even care if I get all the stretch marks in the world like I just want this baby so bad you know and when I wasn't getting pregnant like I was like I don't care like I, I don't care like I've had this body for 31 years and I love it so much and it's done everything but looking good is not my priority anymore like my priority now is to grow and nourish this human that I want to have so bad my feelings didn't still stand that way of course I'm trying to do everything that I can to keep my body as the same and I say that like in quotations because it's never gonna be the same like I'm birthing a human more so than trying to keep my body the same I'm trying to Accept the fact that me and my body are going into a new phase together like I had my teenage body and then I had my 20 something year old body and I love those bodies like they did amazing things for me they helped me work out they make me they made me feel very beautiful they made me feel very confident now I'm going into this new phase in which my body will look different I am almost 80% sure that I'm gonna get stretch marks you guys my mom has stretch marks so it's very likely that I'm also gonna get them and my boobs are probably gonna sag you know because I'm feeding my baby but I am trying my hardest to be okay with all of these changes because now I'm exchanging the physical changes that my body's gonna go through for this beautiful human being that I'm gonna have I'm at a point where I wanted a baby so bad and I was ready to become a mom that I was like, I don't care the, the physical changes that I have to go through in order to have this human being. Now, this is not to say that I'm always gonna feel this way. Like maybe when I'm postpartum and I already have the baby, I'm gonna look at my body and I'm gonna see like, oh my God, like what happened? I don't know that I'll really be prepared for the changes that will happen in my body. And I'm only saying this because girl, before I got pregnant, I used to think that I knew a lot about pregnancy and not until I got pregnant was I like, holy wow, like it is not as easy as they said it was going to be. So maybe I'll look at my body postpartum and then I'll think to myself, there's no way, like I could never love this body, like it just looks so different from what it used to look like. But even if I don't feel that initial love or that initial want to love my body, it's a commitment I've made with myself. You're not always gonna love the way you look. You're not always going to feel confident. You're not always gonna feel good. You're not always gonna feel put together. But we have to make a commitment to ourselves to say, no matter what I look like, no matter what comes out of this journey of motherhood, and no matter how the pieces end up falling back together. I choose to love my body and I choose to love myself. Even if my belly doesn't look the same, even if my boobs don't look the same, even if my private parts don't look the same, our bodies are doing amazing things and we get to exchange this physical sacrifice for the lifelong gift of being a mother. And that's a beautiful gift to begin with. It's nerve wracking to know and to see your body change every day, especially because there's so much pressure to snap back and there's so many people who snap back and you're just like, oh my God, like how, it doesn't even look like you had a kid. I'm not putting that pressure on myself. I don't know that I will be those kind of people. If I some, if I like magically snap back and I look freaking amazing after giving birth, that's great. But if I don't, that's also great because my priority right now is not to look great after giving birth. My priority right now is my baby, my mental health, and making sure that I keep this baby alive once the baby's born and making sure that I keep a safe space for my sanity because 
I am not even worried about the way that I'm gonna look after giving birth. I'm more worried about not getting postpartum depression, postpartum anxiety, postpartum anything. I just wanna be as emotionally stable as I can. If you've had a baby and your body has changed or if you're currently pregnant and you're nervous about the ways that your body's changing, you're not alone. There's hundreds, thousands of us women who feel that little bit of nerve of the unknown, of not knowing how we're gonna come out of this almost year long like journey of becoming moms. But I will tell you, you and I are gonna go through this together and I really pray and hope that these words can encourage you a little bit because even if we don't love how we come out of this journey at the end, we do have a commitment to ourselves to show ourselves love respect and consistency when it comes to loving ourselves let me know your thoughts let me know if you have already had a baby how did your body change did you think that it was going to change did you think it wasn't really that bad what do you think the changes are that you wish you could change and what are the steps that you're taking to change them if you haven't had a baby yet let me know if these thoughts have ever crossed your mind because I used to be like, I'm so weird for thinking about the way my body's gonna change before I even get pregnant, but these were real concerns that I had when I was younger. So let me know if you've also had these thoughts and let me tell you when you're ready to become a mom, literally they all fade away and you just wanna have a happy, healthy baby and you think to yourself, I'll deal with it when it comes. Before I let you go, I do wanna give you a bump day. I'm currently, 13 weeks tomorrow, so my belly's still really small, but it is already uh, it is already really hard, so let me show it to you. This is my belly. Um, it's really just hard. It doesn't look like anything. It just looks like I have to go to the restroom right now, <laughs> but I am confident that this baby is gonna grow really, really big. I feel like I'm gonna have a big baby because you guys already know that my husband and I are really tall, so Yes, that's my 13 week bump day. I will see you guys at the next video. Let's get on with y'all.